here, Marilyn here with Putnam's Closet, and we're doing Halloween Sigs with the Twist, and we're in month eight, and we're actually doing block 16, and it's the Carpenter's Wheel. And you can see this block, it's right here. We're not doing the piecing on the outside. That's gonna come at a later time. So we're actually doing this block in the middle, and it finishes at 12 by 12. So raw edge, 12 and a half by 12 and a half. And so, as you can see, there's a lot to it. And the whole time I'm actually using my folded corner clipper to make many pieces of this block this time. So um, if you're not using that, I really suggest that you get one out. And if you have it, you're gonna love making it with this. So let's go through, I'm gonna go through the cutting quickly and right into the piecing. So um, the only piece that you'll grab from a previous month on this block is the um, black circles, which is your blue circle here. That's from last month. So um, orange with circle in your bag is four three and a half inch squares. That's for piece A. The black with circle is just one three and a three by three inch square for B. For piece C, it's the um, orange floral, which is that little paisley. It's in your bag this month. And you need four three by three and a half inch um, squares for piece C. And then the um, gray floral, which is in your bag, you need eight two and a quarter inch squares for number D. And then the cream with orange circles, I actually, um, I wanted to bring that up. I actually did dig into my bag last month and I took out my darker orange for my outside corner. You can see I put it in the outside corners. You can either do that or use your light background yellow, either one. That's piece E and that's four two and a quarter inch squares. For your black solid, um, that's this month and that's my only change and I'm using this green that comes in your bag this month and that's number G and that's um, eight, well it's actually F and G, eight one and three quarter by one and three quarter inch squares and G eight one and three quarter by two and a quarter inch squares and that makes those little diamonds right there. And then um, ivory solid is the rest and you have H, I, and J and you can see the cutting for that is pretty straightforward. So let's get on to piecing. So the first one is number C and so that's gonna be your orange floral. Um, it's gonna be your orange floral, this with your um, J's, which is your background pieces, which are, um, let me look that up. That's your one and three quarter inch squares. And you're just gonna piece those on the top like this. And I used my folded corner clipper and to get my two corners that, and you'll need um, to uh, make four of these units, okay? And those are gonna go right I have my block laid out, okay, and that's gonna go right here in my block sticking out. So I have the little star points around here. So let's see that I put my star point right there and that's where it's sitting in the block, okay? The next piece, you're gonna do step two. You're gonna need pieces D, which is, um, sorry, I have to look this up, the purple and your background um, H, which are your um, two and a quarter by three inch pieces. And you're gonna be making your star points. And so the um, ivory is your background and these are your, your flying geese again. Again, I use my folded corner clipper, but don't be alarmed. The fold over is really big and that's because you want your um, points to be floating and they do tell you that here. It says the pieces overlap one another significantly intentionally so that the points float. And you can see that as you, these are unit two. And these are the ones that go around that center. So here's your center and here your star points are and you can see that they float around the center. So that's where that sits. Here's my center square and that's one of them made and they do float around there, okay? And then um, unit three, that's using pieces A, F, and I, and using the sew and flip method. So um, that's that the center point here. And so you're gonna take first your um, piece A here, 
and you're going to take your F's and put them on each side first using the sew and flip method with your folded corner clipper. Press those out and then you're going to take the bigger piece I and put that on third because it's going to cut into those seams. Okay, so I have that set here. And then you're going to go to page 20. And you're going to make units 4A, and that's using pieces G and I. I mean, I'm sorry, G and J. And those are these little units here. And if you notice, you need to make four of unit A, 4A, and four of unit 4B, because they're mirrored images. All right, mirrored images, four and four. So once you get those made, you can start laying out your corner unit. So if you see this corner unit, it's right here. And it looks complicated, but actually you're putting this whole corner unit together. So it looks like a little diamond, but actually that's your sew and flip right there. Okay, so here it is sitting here, this little corner unit here. So I, we all make mistakes. Number F is actually the green and I put the ivory. I noticed it when I was looking at this block to make the diamond. So I pinned my green over. You know, we all make mistakes and I made one doing the sample. So I've just pinned my green on top so that you see how it's done correctly. So here's my unit block. I did put my dark yellow here. You need four of those so that makes your diamond. So it's really actually once you get that together, you have your whole center your whole corner unit and then you have your piece here with your point and then your other unit so once you get those done you're ready to go get that put together you can put this unit together and then your other corner unit together and you can see how they have it broken out on the block the corner this section the corner this section sewn together the center this section and this and this and this it basically becomes a nine patch so once you get that together, of course you do have a lot of these connector corners, but once you get those together, then it goes together more simply as a nine patch. There is a lot to do. Take your time and it will go together smoothly and you have this beautiful block. Okay, I'll see you back here in a few minutes for block 17, which is our bear paw, bear paw star block. Thanks.